everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm here on site putting up some foam on these walls. Yesterday I was out here putting up the black asphalt. Uh, we got a little bit of rain last night, um, but it seems like it held up all right. You're usually supposed to wait if there's a, a chance of rain. But I did it early in the morning yesterday and had all day baking in the sun, and it seems like it held up all right. And this stuff here is in the greenhouse anyway, so it's not super critical. Uh, so anyway, I've been putting up foam today. Uh, the mirror image of this side back over there, I got the foam all up over on that side over here. But I chose to shoot the video here today to show that uh, this area here, I've been able to make up uh, most of this little run here with a bunch of the scrap that I've been accumulating from the build so far. And it, it takes a little bit longer to work with scrap and looks a little messier, but this is all going to get covered underneath the stucco work later. There's going to be wire lath on top of this. It's just going to get stuccoed over and buried. You're not, not going to see it. Uh, and, you know, in terms of the time, I've got the time because I'm still waiting for the contractors to get back to me. It's been kind of two weeks since they've shown up uh, and done any of the site work. i got to get another call out to them to see what's going on. But in the meantime, I'm, you know, using the time to keep, uh, keep building. And if I can use scrap to build a lot of this stuff, it's going to save me money, uh, you know, really, I would like to say in the long run, but even in the short term, you know, every single time I'm able to use the scrap equivalent of an entire 4x8 sheet of this foam, it saves me 50, uh, $40. Each one's $40. So, you know, every time I do that, I'm saving 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. So it's worth it to me to, you know, kind of jigsaw them together, put a little bit of spray foam. I guess I got to pay for the spray foam. That costs some money to, to do the spray foam that seals them all together. But overall, you know, it saves resources and saves me materials and really would be nice if it saves me running out of the, you know, the four by eight sheets of foam and saves me like, you know, a trip in the end of the day where I, I, I'm one short and I have to drive out because I, you know, I don't have enough. So I like using scrap and a lot of this scrap is actually scrap that was back from the old homestead. Uh, you know, some of this uh, silver foiled stuff, the stuff with the black on, on the surface. Now that stuff there is was for the, the house walls. This isn't uh, necessarily rated for below grade work and I've got it going below grade, but this is in the greenhouse and, you know, the greenhouse, is, you know, there's going to be plants out here, but it's not going to be you know, getting monsoon rains or anything like that. So it doesn't bother me to bury that stuff in there and get some use out of it. So I'm just doing that today. I wasn't able to finish all of it. I did finish up on the other side. I got a little bit more over here to do uh, right now, but I've got to get back because I got to make lunch for River. So that's it. See you tomorrow.